You sure do. You do have to attend court. And if you don't attend court, there's a very high likelihood of a warrant for your arrest being issued. Uh, courts take drink driving charges very, very seriously. And a summons that you get is a command to attend court. It's not a request, it's a command. You must obey it. And if you don't, without good reason, uh, the courts will issue almost certainly a bench warrant for your arrest. And then the guards will go to your house, arrest you and bring you to court. So yes, you must attend court. Yeah, well, what will happen in court is that you'll get a summons. The summons will say clearly what date you're to be in court and what time. Uh, everyone now has a specific time, whether it's half 10 or half 11, half 12, two o'clock, whatever it is. So there'll be a date and there'll be a time. It'll include the name of the guard who arrested you and what the allegation is, you know, excess alcohol in your blood, breath or, or urine. And then when you get that, you really should contact a solicitor because, you know, the consequence of, of, of drink driving is a disqualification. And if you come into court without a solicitor, the judge will almost certainly ask you whether you want to get one. And it will, in most cases, advise you to get one because they're doing that in your best interests. Uh, well, people want to know that, obviously, you know what you're doing. That's very important. But they also want to know whether or not you believe in what you're saying. That's very important, too. I've often found that when I'm talking to people, they'll ask me what I think and they'll look at me very intently uh, in the eyes to see whether or not I believe what I'm saying. So it's important that you do tell them whether you think they have a, a case or whether they don't. If they do, I'll tell them. If they don't, I'll tell them as well.